Hey everyone, Fancy Dancer here, we're back with another recipe for our dream bar. This week's cocktail is Long Island Iced Tea, and with this drink we get to use almost every single bottle in our bar, including our new bottle of tequila. Now Robert Butt claims to have invented this drink for a contest back in 1972 in the Oak Beach Inn in Long Island, New York, and it was a contest to use triple sec in a mixed drink. But unfortunately when you order this particular cocktail in most bars nowadays, you're going to get a simplified mockery of the original. It'll be with that Long Island mix, some cola, and if you're lucky, some lime juice. And they tend to use it simply because, one, it makes it a lot faster to make, but it's also so they can keep it to a one ounce highball and not necessarily charge you an arm and a leg for the sheer amount of spirits in this particular drink. That being said, it's supposed to have equal parts of your four base white spirits. So your vodka, whoops, that's vodka, tequila, gin, and a light rum. Like I said, it also uses triple sec, and then we'll have our cola and our sweet and sour mix to use as well. It was named mostly for the color of the drink and how it resembled an iced tea, because none of the variations I've actually found actually include tea at all. And it kind of does taste like an iced tea, so I guess he was onto something. Uh, many of the variations of this particular cocktail are famous in their own right, like the Grateful Dead, which, is, which substitutes the tri uh, triple sec for Chambord, and as lemonade, or the <laughs> Long Beach iced tea, which simply substitutes the Coca-Cola for some cranberry juice. But we're gonna get to those in later videos. For now, let's make a Long Island iced tea. We're gonna start with our spirits here. So I've got our vodka, which is actually a brand new bottle we're cracking open today. And we want half an ounce of this. Now with the vodka, it doesn't really make a difference which one you use, because most of them don't have any real flavor. It's just to kind of up the um, alcohol by volume for this particular cocktail. Going to add our rum next. This one you do want to be careful on. If you use a rum that's more of an amber rum or just an aged rum, you are going to get more of a strong flavor from it and it can overbalance the cocktail. Next up is our tequila. Same thing here, using a reposado for example would add some uh, just a little bit too strong of a flavor would kind of overpower the other spirits. Oh, and it was my bad for the Grateful Dead. It was actually lemon lime soda, not lemonade that they used to top it off. And next up is our gin. So you've got our citrus for our gin in this one. Um, very common choice for a Long Island iced tea. I'm not necessarily beef eater specifically, but just a citrus for our gin because it helps bring out the lemon lime notes from our sweet and sour mix there. All right, so we're gonna add our ounce and a half of sweet and sour mix. So I have equal parts lemon and lime to a simple syrup. So it's three quarters ounce of simple syrup, three quarters ounce of lemon and lime juice. Just like that. And our second to last ingredient before we stir, we're gonna add our cola. We want three ounces of that. There we go. And it doesn't matter if you use name brand cola, I'm just using Compliments Cola. It does not be Coca-Cola. And then the piece de resistance, the half ounce of triple sec. The original reason this cocktail was invented. So he claims. So you want to give this a light stir, just to kind of blend all those spirits together. And to help chill the drink a bit, you want it to be nice and cold. And then when we're done, we're going to strain that into our Collins glass on the side there. And depending on the size of your glass, you can add a little bit more cola. You just don't want to over kind of sway the balance too much. All right, so we've got our Collins glass here. Oh, grab our coaster. Boom. Hawthorne strainer and in she goes. Did I make too much? Eh, just slightly. Okay. Now to garnish, you can use either a lime or a lemon. Um, I'm using a lemon today for just this wheel here. And oh, <laughs> that's getting precarious. And you always serve it with a straw. And no spills this time. Woo, gummy. But that is our Long Island iced tea. Let's see how it tastes. very smooth. 
It really doesn't taste like the ones you get at the bar. Those ones are overly sweet, very sugary. This one is very balanced. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still sweet, but it's you get that little bit of tequila, a little bit of the rum, a little bit of the gin, There's some of that citrus. Yeah, I'd pay extra if they made it right. That's for sure. That is our Long Island iced tea. We used a half ounce of gin, a half ounce of our tequila, half ounce of vodka, half ounce of our light rum, half ounce of triple sec, an ounce and a half of our sweet and sour mix, and three ounces of our cola. I hope you like this video and enjoy the drink. Subscribe to follow along as we build our dream bar and please drink responsibly.